Uh, the main concept of my design is to incorporate the surroundings, which is the London Eye, into a light show above Westminster Bridge. And the colours depend on the events of the time. So if it was Christmas, it would be red, green or white. And if it was Halloween, it would be purple, yellow and orange. The design can be seen from the London Eye and the energy is mainly used by hydroelectric and solar. The hydroelectric power is used by the movement of the river and it's converted into kinetic and light energy to display the lights on the wiring system and to move the system around. And the speed of the river depends on how fast the wheels turn and then waste energy from the London Eye, such as kinetic and heat energy, is converted into the light and kinetic energy for this whole design. Welcome to London. With my bridge design, as you walk down the bridge, a trail of glowing footprints appear along the path that you've walked. These are triggered by the interactive pressure plates that lie in the layer of the footpath. When pressure is applied, it causes the LEDs that are also embedded in the path to light up in the shape of your footprint. Along the sides of the bridge, there are waterproof projectors that project images onto the water. These images are based off of the work of Shakespeare. In an attempt to be more environmentally friendly, the concept utilises the thermogalvanic effect and the movement of the people that cross the bridge during the day. The thermogalvanic effect is used to be able to harness the wasted heat energy emitted from the projections and the lights so that it can be cons conserved for further use. By using an electromechanical system in the floor, the movement of the pedestrians can actually help power the light system during the day. I based my designs for the Illuminated Bridge project on raising awareness for social and environmental issues. Uh, so what I did to raise awareness was I made my colour scheme a rainbow, which represents hope and also symbolises a memorial to all the shootings and everything else that's been going on in the world and to signify the environmental importance I used algae powered lights that take in carbon dioxide and leave oxygen as a waste product and help the environment get better. So basically it's supposed to be a beacon of light and hope to help people in their day to day life with and it has an interactive ability where people can go write and draw things using a pressure pad that lasts for about five minutes and you can take pictures with it and post it on social media and then it will share the ideas of the Tower Bridge to everyone else. Well, the algae powered light was made from a biochemist named Pierre Kaleja and he basically took algae that was from the sea and it's not actual algae but the algae filled water and you can keep recycling the water so you don't need to recycle the algae. It absorbs the carbon dioxide and emits oxygen and light as a byproduct.
Our story starts with John Smith, who's walking down the south bank, and he sees Albert Bridge, and he decides that he wants to walk on it. So he goes onto Albert Bridge, and he likes it. So he decides he wants his own personalised message up on the bridge. So he goes onto the website, um, types in the message he wants, and he's given a code, and he enters his phone number so he can get a text later on. Then the company who will send John Smith a message saying that his photo is now going to be on the bridge and what number code he has. So then he'll then they'll tell him what time his picture will be ready to buy as well. Um, and then the picture is sent to the projector via a virtual remote tool. Um, and this means that the projection can be put on the bridge. Um, the projector works by a kinetic energy turbine and that uses the motion of the water to power it so that it can put the projection up on the bridge. There's going to be two project projectors on each side of the bridge and they're going to project diagonally so the text will appear in the centre of the bridge. Um, behind, behind the text will be a sheer transparent fabric that the words will be projected on so that it doesn't just go straight through the bridge. And then when his picture is ready he can get it from either a stall at the end, either end of each bridge or he can get it online. And that's the story of John Smith. Welcome to Jimmy's Adventures the story of a young boy who takes a journey down the Millennium Bridge. This design is inspired by the Rivers of the World project created by us. So our story starts off with an establishing shot of the bridge. Jimmy is looking at the bridge in amazement because of all of the moving lights and attention it's getting. The strobe lights on the bridge will be glowing different shades of blue to show the movement of the wave and lighten up the dark. The whole colour scheme of the bridge would be depending on what season it is. There is an interactive projection of seawater, coral and seaweed that glows on the bridge floor. The seaweed is meant to look realistic so it is constantly swaying and water ripples appear when you step on certain parts of the bridge. The ripples appear because there is a pressure pad across the floor of the bridge. If you step onto any of these pressure pads, an animation is triggered. For example, the ripple may appear or a fish might appear. As well as pressure pads, there are energy harvesting tiles that create a, a kinetic floor. Uh, these tiles could be found by a brand such as Pavagen Systems, who work in the UK. The tiles have a slight give, so if you step on and off of them, they move slightly. This produces kinetic energy to power the projections. This is convenient, seeing as there are a lot of people who walk over this bridge. Whilst the seaweed is rustling, randomly a fish outline will appear from behind the seaweed, and the colour of the fish will slowly fade in. Then, simultaneously, the fish will begin to come to life, turning into a digital animation. Almost as though it was gone, the user, Jimmy, will notice this and step on it. When he steps on it, the fish will quickly swim away and fade into the seaweed. Unfortunately, Jimmy's journey has come to an end. And as you can see, he's had a great time, just like we have. Seek adventure. Be, Be like, like Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs>